Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. I um, made a video a, a little while ago about, I um, can't remember exactly what I was doing, but um, one of my commenters said about saving the shards, and very good point. People who don't have a lot of flint available to them should be saving shards and i should have mentioned it i actually do um that's my shard container um i save all my little bits and pieces i just noticed here all my little bits go in my shard tin um as i'm spalling and breaking them up i always put that now this is what i have next to my computer so i've got my that's my flint it's got normal size things, a couple of normal size shards, a couple of pieces of larger pieces. These are my normal size. I like that size personally. Um, other people like smaller bits. I like the bigger bits. They're easier for me to um, manipulate with my bigger hands. Plus, you can always break these down as your edges blunt out, you can always break them down and then go from there. So that becomes two pieces that'll give you give you viable edges. Again, larger piece, you can always spoil, spoil a whole heap off that one piece. As you can see, I have been spoiling off that. Um, this is... I've got this sitting next to my computer too. Um, this was a result of a, a large piece I've got over there that I spalled off. So just practicing getting smaller bits, spalling off bits as I go, just to get my hand in as I'm as I'm going, using my bopper and working out how to get the um the the better bits off so that I can spoil them so that I can get my get my little bit of shards but I just wanted to make that video about these bits if you are in a place that don't have a lot of flint available to you save every bit because even with a smaller bit and I didn't bring any um, charcoal out because it's later in the day and I don't like making fires out later in the day now. Even with a small bit like that, you can certainly develop embers off that. I've used that bit, bits, no problems whatsoever. That is a viable piece of flint. You can easily get a fire going with a size that big. I can go down to... And this is not show, showing off or anything, but as your skills develop, you can get a lot smaller than that. Now, I've, I've, I've shown on videos tiny little bits, and that's, that's a tiny little bit, half the size of that. I have... got embers off something like that i could go smaller again i've got um i've got smaller bits i can go even smaller but it gets to the point where you just can't hold on to it enough there's a little piece of it's a tiny little piece of flint i just noticed sitting on the top of the You can, if you secure a bit of char cloth there, and that's that. I'm getting sparks off that, so you can, if you try hard enough, you can get sparks off these little micro shards. That then, they're not. It's not impossible. It just becomes very, very difficult to hold onto it. That's the only 
that's getting yeah that's getting ridiculous it is very small but i've got spark then i'm getting sparks so but it does come down to the point of not being able to hold your char on those smaller bits but this is my um my discard tin but it's not a discard tin in the fact that that brown stuff that brown aussie that's really nice flint it's really really nice flint um yeah it's not a discard container because i do do go through it i do use this stuff um it is viable viable flint so yeah just just a, a quick video on don't discard it um especially in areas where flint is not necessarily available as much so you want to try and keep it it's it's a it's a wonderful resource and it's not something that you should throw away um i i've been very lucky in the fact that i've been able to buy a bit of it i've got 20 or 30 kilos of it um and a lot of a lot of spoiled stuff i've got at least 20 kilos of spoiled stuff here and more in big big pieces as that but flint and steel is my passion so I've, I've i wanted to secure as much of it as i could um if i lived in south australia i'd have hundreds of kilos of it it's as simple as that i'd go to mount gambier and i'd try and get as much as i could if i had a metric ton of it i would that that i would say yeah that's that's me and then i'd get another metric ton that's as simple as that you know like I, I just would never stop until i had more more flint than i knew what to do with it's as simple as that um i always i always want more stones it's as, it's as simple as that um i love it i love this stuff i love fooling around with it i love looking at it i love comparing it to other stuff other stones um all the hard stones and yeah just just appreciating it for what it is it's um it's the variations just in 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 the australian stuff alone like i've got three lots of australian stuff there it's the black the gray and the brown you know the three variations in australian flint just there alone and that's australian flint so you know and this is flint because it's all formed in chalk layers so that's why, you know, like, and there's a bit of brown, ah, uh, a bit of black, from, I think that one's from, um, Europe. Because this stuff here, I've, I've put all different types of stuff, stuff in there, you know, there's all different types of flint in there too, so, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I did want to mention, if you, um, if you, if you, as you, as you're spoiling this stuff, because it does create a fair bit of the smaller shards this sort of size just put them in a, t in, a in a container and keep them because um especially for smaller kits these these thinner bits are wonderful for fitting in smaller bits um just use your bopper to get this um cortex off or the or the chalk layer off just bop that stuff off I've, I've left a lot of it on here because it's it doesn't it's not really worrying me most of it's got most of it bashed off but yeah um i've never found a way of getting rid of it yeah apparently you can dissolve it in vinegar or something not, but i've never had any success with that but um yeah um just bop it off most of it off but um yeah the cortex as well as your skills get up you can drive the um drive your bopper you'll be able to drive flakes through and that'll take it a, a thin shard through there most of the core uh, most of that outer layer will fall off and you'll be left with nice available black uh, nice available flint but yeah i just wanted to say about that because um yeah this this stuff shouldn't be um wasted in any mean by any means because um especially unless you live in, in places like norfolk where it's um 
considered a pest, a stone. They um they build with it and they basically throw it away. I've seen um Will Lord's got they've got um the flint flint areas there in Norfolk and that or, or I'm not I'm not exactly sure in Norfolk but it goes to the old flint mines there and they've um they've got piles of the stuff that are as big as houses. Just piles and piles of it. And they've basically just thrown it away and given it away. And that's how much they've got of it. But for us who sit there they I'd give give almost give almost give me left arm up for flint that much. But um yeah, it'd make striking hard if I gave up my left arm. But anyway, yeah. Definitely be saving your um shards because um yeah, you can use them. Um it just at your skill level you'll find your skill level as your skill level grows, the smaller the stone will be. Um, I prefer, as I've stated before, even though my skill level's pretty high, I still like bigger stones. But that's only because of the size of my hands, and I've got specific reasons why. Um, I know Dominic Minichetti prefers smaller stones, and that's fine. It, everyone has their own thing about this, and there is no right way of doing it, and I'm not trying to say that. Um, yeah, just you do you, find your way, but, um, and I'll just give you the information and you go with that. Um, yeah, personally, I like, I like big shards. I like fist size stones, but that there is about as, about the size I like personally. Nice big platform. You can put your tinder on it. That one's, that one's spent. I can't drive. I could drive as many sparks as I want. It's not going to go off. Um, won't won't start. That's what I used this morning. Um, yeah, you can. It gives you a nice big area to put your tin drawn. Um, got a lot of lots of usable area of um, sharp edges, and then you can spoil it down once it's blunted out. But anyway, definitely save your save your smaller shards um, and find the size rocks you like. Um, yeah. This wonderful stone is not a thing to be discarded. I've even found I've been using my um, quart I've been saving my quartzite stuff, but it is um, quartzite's not as good as flint. It 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 once it gets too small, it, it's rubbish basically. So I I really once it gets down to ah, uh, that's even that's that's quite large. Yeah, I've got a little bit there. That's a small shard. I could probably draw sparks off that. Yeah, I can. But that won't last very long. It'll blunt out very quickly and you throw that away after a while because it's not much worth saving. Um, yeah, the flint would be what I'd try and save. The other one's jasper, petrified wood. I definitely would be saving all those things too because they, they are quite good. The quartzite, not so much. It's, um, it's, a, it's a daily user stone that um, burns out pretty quick for me, and um, I just discard it when, it's, when it gets too small and it's non-viable anymore. And, um, yeah, just keep breaking it up until it's, you can't hold on to it anymore and then throw it away. Get some more, because it's available everywhere. It's, there's more, more quartzite around than you know what to do with. Anyway... Thanks for watching.